Today I'm going to talk to you about audio, about a portable voice recorder that I've been using for a few months now. Make sure that the actor who's in your scene is also aware that that might happen. Instead of using a tripod, I keep my camera steady with my gimbal. So it's like this incredible mix of styles right next to each other. It's called an Instamic. It's a little portable, wearable voice recorder. And at the moment, it's hidden under my shirt. It's hidden via a bandage that I applied over the mic and stuck to my chest. Just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Instamic. They didn't ask me to make it. All I have is an affiliate link that I put in the description. So I'm making this video purely because I think the technology is really cool and really useful for you. So the great thing about this mic is the audio that I record can later be synced back up to the video in post very, very easily. Now, originally this mic had no automatic way to synchronize the audio to the video. You had to manually just go in there and either line it up visually or use a third party plugin like Pluralize or Final Cut Pro's audio sync feature to do it. But it just got a whole lot better with the firmware improvement, so I thought it was about time to make a YouTube video talking about it. Now, you can use timecode, and if you're not familiar with what timecode is, timecode is a very, very precise clock. And that clock on the video file and the audio file can be used to synchronize those files precisely in post with zero effort. So the other ingredient you need to make this whole timecode thing work is a timecode generator. And the Instamic specifically only works with the Tentacle Sync timecode generator. Think of the Tentacle Sync as basically just a little watch, a portable watch that outputs the time on that clock to a device via a cable. The cool thing about Tentacle Sync is that it will work with basically any camera that has a mic input because it's outputting that time code as an audio signal. So as long as your camera can record audio, you can use Tentacle Sync, and therefore you can use this Instamic as a wireless mic. So once you got your phone receiving the Bluetooth from the Tentacle Sync, you can hook up multiple Instamics via Bluetooth and then trigger them to all start recording at the same time with one record button. What are you eating? French toast. We have a harbor, and you can see the night view here. We are in an opera center. I'm eating Cha Wireless mics usually use radio frequencies, which can become clogs and they can have interference, they can drop signal, all those problems can occur. But that's literally impossible when you're using a portable recorder like this because it's not transmitting anything, it's just being synced back up in post. I can go as far away as I want, and just like a wireless mic, my voice stays close to the microphone element, so you hear me as if I was right next to you. But there is a drawback, and the drawback is that I can't monitor the audio while I'm recording. So at the moment, I have no idea if I'm recording quality audio or not. Instamic does give you a way to quickly preview the sounds coming out of your mic from an app before you hit record, but once you're recording, there's no way to monitor. So be aware that there is a drawback, and if you can't live with that, if your audio is too critical, then you probably need to use a regular wireless mic. So next, I'm just gonna very briefly show you how it all comes together in the edit, but if you want details about how to do all this stuff, I didn't mean for this to be like a full tutorial on it. You should definitely check out the websites for Instamic and the website for Tentacle Sync because they have detailed tutorials there. And if you have technical questions, ask them, not me. This right here is Tentacle Sync Studio. This is the software that you use to sync your video with your audio. You get a free license of this if you purchase the Tentacle Sync timecode module. So let's go ahead and just do that. Select all the files from that date. Boom. Drops them in and automatically syncs all the files. This here's your playback module. You can zoom in on one part and play it back to make sure it's in sync. Cool, cool, Cabrera. Yeah. And I found sometimes with my files that it would be just a little bit out of sync. Uh, and rather than correct it in this software, which is possible uh, just by setting an offset, uh, rather than do that, I just like to export it and then fix it in Final Cut. Okay, let's say I want to export to Final Cut. I just choose XML. I'm going to call it Test Sync. There we go. Boom, pops over to Final Cut. So now you have all your synced audio and your synced video in multiple formats. You've got multiple compound clips that are all synced together. You've got a project file that's kind of all synced up here. And most usefully, you have a multicam. And within your multicam, it automatically splits up your audio angles and your video and you can just proceed there as you would with a multicam edit. Super simple, super easy, but it may require a little bit of tweaking to get your audio perfectly synced up. But it's definitely a thousand times easier than trying to sync it without timecode. Okay, so that's my quick intro for Instamic and Tentacle Sync. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you want more info about the products, contact the manufacturers. I'll see you next time.